Thank you for purchasing the Kodak Video Monitor CFH V15. To get started, open your video monitor box where you should see four items. The video monitor, a power supply unit, the setup instructions, and the small plastic bag with screws and wall anchors. To start the setup for your V15 video monitor, please make sure your phone is connected to your personal Wi-Fi and that you have a strong signal. It's usually best to start your setup with the monitor in the same room as your router or as close to the router as possible to get the strongest signal. You can always move the V15 later once it's been set up. Next, you need to download the iSecurity Plus app. You can find the app by searching for it in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. There are other apps with a similar name, so you want to make sure you are looking at the iSecurity Plus app. Here is what it looks like. At this point, do not open the app. Now, it's time to plug in your V15. Please remove the thin mounting base at the bottom. To unmount it, check the bottom for the locked icon and twist the thin base clockwise to the right until it shows unlocked. Connect the power cord to the bottom of the video monitor and plug the cord into a working power outlet. First, you will see the LED light underneath the Kodak name on the front of the monitor alternate from green to orange. Next, the camera will rotate and you will see the LED light flash green, indicating the monitor is now ready for setup. Please note, this may take up to two minutes from when the monitor is first powered on. Next, go to the settings menu on your phone. Under your Wi-Fi networks, you will find a network that begins with the title of your video monitor, followed by four digits. These last four digits will match the last four digits on the MAC ID located on the sticker on the bottom of your V15. This is what you should see. Now, select your V15's network and wait for your phone to connect. Once your phone is connected to the V15's Wi-Fi, you may go to your iSecurity Plus app on your phone and open it. You will now see a pop-up message saying that a camera has been detected asking if you want to set it up. Please press yes. If you do not see the message, please close and reopen the app until you do. The next screen you will see is the camera setup wizard. Please press continue to get started. You will now see a picture in the camera preview. Please note this is only a preview. You will need to press the Connect Camera to Internet button below the preview to continue the setup process of your video monitor. You will now see a list of Wi-Fi networks. Please choose your personal Wi-Fi network, then enter your password and press Continue. This may take a few minutes to connect to the server. On the next screen, you can create a new user account. If you already have an account and are setting up multiple cameras, please press the Use Existing button. Once you have done this, you will be able to create a name for your video monitor and optional description. When finished, click Continue. You will now see a congratulations message on your app. Please click the button that says Finish. You will now be able to log in with your username and password. It may take up to two minutes to see your V15 listed in the online list of cameras. You can now attach the mounting plate again and twist the thin base anti-clockwise to the left to lock it and you are now ready to get started using your new Kodak Video Monitor CFH-V15.